Hi, I'm Tom from Wilkinson Star. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at the new Jassic JM250P. It's a single pulse compact MIG, fully synergic. You've got the pulse setting on there so you can improve your aluminium welding. You get the reduced spatter, so less clean up time. It's a single phase machine. It's ideal for any small to medium sized applications and it'll weld up to a maximum of 10 millimeters. So what we'll do now, we'll take a quick look at the panel and get it set up. So now we'll have a quick run through on the setup for all four processes, starting here with the DC lift TIG. Now, this has got a very simple amperage control here on the left, and this is operated through the Euro adapter, so you need a Euro TIG torch. This also controls the solenoid valve for your gas flow. Then we'll move down to your MMA. Again, we've got a very simple amperage control there on the left. To enter the submenu, pressing all this, that takes us to the hot start and the art force. So exit the menu, press and hold again. Now, if you want voltage reduction device on, press this button here. The spot time indicator indicates that the VRD is on. If you want to turn it off, press the button again. Indicator's off, so VRD is off. So now we'll take a look at the standard MIG. So first of all, we start off with a gas purge check. And inside the cabinet, we've got the inching button for feeding the wire through on your initial setup. We've also got in there the 15 kg spool holder on a four roll drive wire feed motor. And now we'll move on to the parent material. So we've got ferrous metals such as mild steel. We've got stainless steel, aluminium silicon, and aluminium magnesium. Then we'll move on to the wire diameter selection. So in aluminium, we can start at one mil, 1.2, and special. And then we move up to the ferrous metals. We can select either 0.8 or one mil. Moving over onto the torch sugar operation, we've got two touch, four touch, or spot time. Now to set your spot time, enter the sub menu on the left, go to spot time, and we can adjust this in seconds up to a maximum of five seconds. Now in two touch on the menu here, all we can adjust is the pre flow and the post flow gas time to enable the start current, up slope down slope and end current, we need to be in full touch operation. And the way this works is you press and hold the trigger to get your start current and your up slope, release to get your peak current, and then press and hold again to get your down slope and your end current. Now, the machine's in synergic, so we can select the plate thickness by pressing and hold this button here, and we can adjust it up to a maximum of 10 millimeters. The machine will then set the most suitable parameters for the parent material, the wire diameter, and the plate thickness you've got set. So on the right hand side, we've got a voltage display. On the left hand side, we've got the wire feed display. If you want, you can take it out of Synergic and you can man enter the um, parameters manually. In the sub menu, on standard MIG, we've got inductance, we've got crater time in milliseconds, and we've got crater voltage in volts. So on this machine as well, in the MIG functions, you can use a spool on gun. Now to connect this, you simply plug in your spool on gun to the 9-pin socket, and the machine will automatically detect that the spool on gun is in use, and it will shift the power from the drive motor to the spool on gun. So now we'll take a look at the single pulse MIG, which is a very similar setup to the standard MIG. So we've got the left on display for wire feed speed, the right on display for voltage, in synergic, select our plate thickness, again up to a maximum of 10 mil. In the sub menu this time, we've got the frequency, the duty, and the inductance. Now the default setting on these is zero, but if need be, we can trim these plus and minus 10. If you want to set these parameters manually, you take out a synergic and you get a much wider control on the frequency on the duty. But set it in synergic, in your plate thickness, and away you go. Now, on this machine, you can reset the panel if you've entered some parameters and you're not too sure where you're at. Press and hold the synergic button for seven seconds, and release, and the panel will reset itself. So, as you can see, it's got a really user-friendly interface with simple controls, it's dead easy to set up, and what we'll do now is just show you a quick demonstration of it welding. Thank you for watching.